welcome to Mixed Videos Online 2023. Subscribe now. This will cause a few dents. A civil war on the planet Cybertron has left the planet in ruins and has divided the brothers Optimus Prime and Megatron on opposite sides of the conflict. Their war eventually ended, and many of the surviving Transformers fled to Earth. Optimus's Autobots sought the AllSpark located on the small blue planet to restore life to Cybertron, while Megatron's Decepticons wanted to use it in order to turn Earth's machines into an army capable of conquering the universe. Megatron reached his destination first, but found himself frozen solid and eventually stuttered by the American government. Meanwhile, Optimus came to Earth and befriended Sam Lippicky, who possessed a curve that would lead the Autobots to the AllSpark. Finding the curve imprinted on the glasses of Sam's great-great-grandfather, the Autobots headed for the Hooter Dam, the AllSpark and Megatron. Megatron was thawed from his frozen state when Starscream destroyed the dam's generators, and the battle between the two factions begun once more. Megatron's first move in the reignited conflict was to devour Jazz's spark as Optimus looked on in horror. Watching the melee from afar, Sam grabbed the AllSpark and attempted to get it to high ground. Soon caught by Megatron, Optimus attempted to intervene only to be ambushed by Starscream. The incapacitated Autobot leader desperately urged Sam to push the AllSpark into Megatron's very spark, causing the evil robot's life force to explode. With the destruction of their leader, the Decepticons then flood the planet. In the aftermath, Megatron's body was lowered into the ocean, and the Autobots stood victorious, for now we see. Optimus Prime is the leader of the Autobots. Long ago, he was the humble leader of Cybertron's science division, which studded the AllSpark, and were protected by Lord High Protector Megatron's military. When Megatron was corrupted by the Fallen, Optimus discovered that he was the last of the Dynasty of Primes, hidden away when the Fallen destroyed their lineage. In response to Megatron's attempts to seize the AllSpark and conquer other worlds, Optimus assumed his proper title and rallied the Autobots to stand against the Decepticons. As obsessively as Megatron strives to achieve his objective, Optimus is equally as dedicated to stopping him, even at the cost of his life, his world, and, if necessary, his own people. It was on his order that the AllSpark was jettisoned into space, dooming Cybertron to a slow death and his people to a nomadic life. The sacrifices he has made weigh heavily on his spark, but they must be done, for there is no other choice. He knows the ambitions that lurk in Megatron's spark, and they must never see the light of day. Lives must be kept free from the threat of Megatron's tyranny, no matter the cost. This obsession with the defeat of Megatron has robbed Optimus of some of his early idealism. This has created a certain ruthlessness beneath his otherwise honest and caring personality. Prime is not one for second chances and is willing to consider any action that might lead to victory, short of directly sacrificing those he cares about. You just wanna die for the guy. That's leadership, or brainwashing, or something. No, that's Optimus Prime. If you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and thanks for watching.